along with unveiling a whole bunch of new XPS laptops as well as other sort of products here at CES 2018, they'll also show off a whole bunch of new software that's designed to enhance the experience of their computers. Let's take a deeper look at this thing called Dell Mobile Connect that I personally find super interesting. This is basically a way to connect your laptop and your phone, offering less interruptions to your workflow so you can control your phone from your laptop. A lot of companies have already tried to do this. Think about Samsung and what it did with the Galaxy phone on its laptops. But really, the difference here is that Dell says it will offer cross-platform compatibility. So on Windows laptops like the XPS 13, you'll still be able to, say, send messages or make phone calls through your iPhone or an Android phone. As per usual, you're going to get more functionality out of connecting to a, an Android phone versus an iOS device. But before we get ahead of ourselves, here's what Dell Mobile Connect does. Basically, with every new laptop that you buy from Dell starting from January 1st, and it has to be a new model for the year, by the way, you'll have Dell Mobile Connect built into the laptop. Come January 27th, you'll be able to download the app on the Google Play Store or on the iPhone's App Store. Uh, and with these in place, you'll be able to connect your phone and your laptop. So what it does is basically cast what is on your phone to your laptop screen and then use sort of your keyboard or your mouse to control and interact with your phone screen on the laptop. Are you still with me? Basically, this is like an emulator sort of a virtualization on your laptop screen of your phone. And when calls or messages come in, they'll pop up on the top right corner of the window. You can reply or answer from your laptop. Uh, and as to protect your privacy, their identity of your caller will be protected first until you hover over it with your mouse. Once you decide to accept the call, you can actually use your laptop speakers and microphone to conduct that conversation. As for messages, it's so much easier to type on a laptop keyboard than it is on a phone, as we all know, having used iMessage on a MacBook, for example. Now, as I mentioned before, with Android phones, you get more functionality. So you can actually run full apps on this virtualization of your phone on the desktop. So you can do things like order an Uber, you can use Snapchat, you can play Pokemon Go if you want to, or any mobile game that might benefit from having PC controls instead of using your phone and your fingers. So the way Dell is doing this that's unique from other people is because of its proprietary blend of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi Direct for the connection between the laptop and phone. So it's using Bluetooth to do controllery things like mouse and keyboard and, and sort of setting up the connection between the two. But when it's casting the apps from your phone to your laptop screen, it's using Wi-Fi Direct for a smoother connection that requires perhaps more bandwidth. Now your phone has to be running at least iOS 10 or Android 5.0 and up to support this as well as Windows 10 on your laptop. So for those of you with older operating systems, sorry, this isn't going to work for you. But with all of those requirements met, the promise here is that true cross compatibility between your phone and your laptop is coming soon. Granted, you have to buy a Dell laptop that's super new. So I personally really want to use this and can't wait till January 27 rolls around to start trying it out. We're not sure of the promised um, benefits here just yet because I haven't tested it out on an iPhone and we all know how finicky that can be. So we'll just have to wait until it's in my hands or in our hands to see just how much better this is than existing competing systems. Until then, stay tuned to Engadget.com for all the news.